Today, I'm going to show you how to play an extreme topspin shot like this. I'll demonstrate an impressive shot like this every day for a week. So if you like this video, please remember to subscribe so that you get all seven. To play this shot, there's just one difference to that of a normal topspin shot. I'll quickly cover off how to play a normal topspin shot, and then I'll tell you what this additional step is for the more extreme topspin shots. A topspin shot is quite a simple shot to play, but there are five key fundamentals to getting it right. Number one, you want to hit about three quarters of the way up the cue ball. If you hit any higher, you might miss cue. If you hit lower, you won't get enough topspin. Number two, try and keep your cue as flat as possible. To hit further up the cue ball, you want to raise your bridge. Number three, remember and follow through with the cue after hitting the cue ball. That will help generate more power. Number four, take a nice long pause on your final backswing. This will help with your timing of the shot. Number five, hold the cue loose in the backhand. When you're playing a hard shot, there's a real tendency to grip it tight, but holding it loose will help you generate more power through the cue ball. So that's how you play a normal topspin shot. But do you do anything differently when you play it like this? The answer is no, you don't have to. But there's one tip that I would suggest. You'll notice when I played it, there was a lot of body movement on the shot, and doing this, can mean that you might put unintentional side on the ball and miss it by a mile. To combat this, I do one thing slightly differently. I address the cue ball as I normally would, and when I'm down on the shot, about halfway through that pre-shot routine, I switch my focus slightly. I stop focusing so much on aiming, and I simply focus on delivering that cue straight. That's all I'm doing. I'm trusting myself when I'm on the shot that I've aimed properly and I'm lined up properly. And if your technique is good, then you should be able to pot it without thinking about aiming anymore. To demonstrate, I'll close my eyes halfway through this shot and hopefully I'll still pot it. In my next video, I'll show you how to start playing banana shots like this. So if you want to learn how to do this, then please remember to subscribe and hit that like button to see more of my videos. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.